y'all baby is coming in maybe a couple hours there they've had a recommendation for the water to break somebody had to break the water somebody has to approve it so i have run to get me a bite to eat we're still not all headed to the hospital because we're waiting on them to say come on but if we have to we're going to camp overnight down in the lobby i've already called and you can if you're waiting on baby no visiting hours so i just went in mcdonald's and got me a coffee and everywhere i go i had to stop over at the gas station across the street i'm telling everybody i'm about to be a grandmother uh, my grandson's gonna be born soon. I, I'm telling complete strangers this. I'm like, what has gotten into me, y'all? But I just wanted to record, you know, the, these moments before. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to put a few little clips together when I do post a video about him being born. And I texted Jake, what are your emotions right now? He said, tired, nervous, and excited. So, my phone has not been charged all day long. Like, it's been less than halfway charged all day. I can't keep it charged because I'm texting so many people and family and friends that it's just, I've been working all day, like, doing that. I did get um, quite a few packages out today. I was happy for that. Twice I had to go take care of Ace, my grand doggy. Um, but anyway, y'all, so gonna happen soon. So far everything's just fine. Go hit it. Bring it here, Ace. Bring it here. Bring it here, buddy. He's been bringing it back to me every single time. He's tired. I've got some laundry going. I washed up the dishes. And I'm waiting to put some a load into the dryer. I folded up the towels and put them in your bathroom. And uh, giving him some play time. Love you. Baby, I so sorry I didn't come back last night. Oh, honey. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi. Say, I miss my mama and daddy. But you're gonna get a little brother current situation it's the entire next day probably about one o'clock i'm up here working on shipping trying to get the rest of it out still no baby um her did i tell you her water broke last night um it's like a hurry up and wait but now they're starting to discuss uh, maybe a c-section um because she's just not progressing. So, um, that's just a little update. Uh, short and sweet. I'm trying to get as much as, of this done before going down to the hospital. So, um, yeah. 
So we're nearing two hours that has gone by with no updates. So we both, he on one couch and me on another couch, and it's amazing how you can sleep if you're so tired. Like what position you can sleep in and how you can sleep. Um, it was just a waiting, it was like a couch, but not to be slept on, but it was a couch. And I had my book bag that I carry everything in and I put my head on that. And I guess I just dozed off and all of a sudden my phone started ringing and it said, Jake calling, Jake calling. So I ran over to where um, grandpa was and I was like, Jake's calling. And I woke him up from my sleep and he was kind of ill. He was like, answer it. I'm like, well, I wanted you to hear what he said. So I answered it and my phone only works on speakerphone. So he could hear. And there were two or three other people sleeping, waiting on babies too down there. And when I answered the phone, I said, is everything okay? That's what I said. And he said, this is how he said, he said, he's out. <laughs> That's how he said it. And, and in the background, uh, we heard them crying. And anyway, that was just real quick. But I don't know if they do this now, but I was like, well, how much did he weigh? They right away put baby on mama to have that skin to skin bonding for like an hour. Uh, but anyways, um, so I had to head out. I had to leave the hospital. Um, they were going to be a while anyways and drive 30 minutes back home to get Morgan and take her to her school for her basketball practice at like 6.30 in the morning um, because her car was there from the night before. She had a game. Anyway, um, so I dropped her off, went back down to the hospital and drank so much coffee, running on just nothing, adrenaline and excitement. And got down there, waited a while, and uh, I, they were moving rooms, and I got to go in and see them. I probably didn't go in there and see them no, no more than 10 minutes. And I was just like, like, the whole time looking at him, he was, Okay, so he's three weeks early because mama had preeclampsia. That's why they had to induce her early. But three weeks early and he still weighed seven pounds and about nine ounces. Uh, beautiful. And I mean beautiful, but I haven't seen his little hands or his little feet yet. So, um, oh, also I'll put a picture in here on the screen, uh, like in the baby ward as you're finding your room they have babies that have been born and they don't put the name but they put the time and that's how I realized the exact time that Jackson was born was at 5 a.m. Wednesday, January 31st. Um, let's see, so today is, gosh, that was a long day. Anyway, so I saw him for just a minute. I got to record just a little snippet with his little doing that in his sleep. And I left because mama was exhausted. She had been through a time. Daddy, my son Jake was exhausted. And um, I knew so many people were already starting to come. I know what that's like, don't you? And um, so I went on home and uh, I had uh, two big boxes of packages I needed to take to the post office and I couldn't even do it. I went straight to that, well, fed my animals, went straight to that bed and slept to about 3.30 yesterday afternoon got up woke up it was post office was closed um run some errands did some things had to go back to jake's let ace out the dog and uh anyway tried to go to bed at a decent time last night i got great sleep got up this morning went and finished shampoo on floors at my son's house for them and um Yeah, that brings me to right now. I ain't even got out of the car. I just got done with the shampooing. And my oldest son is up. He came in last night, went down and took them some food and saw the baby. And um, Morgan, every time she's working in basketball practice and had a game and she has a game tomorrow, but every time she gets a minute, she's to that hospital. And she got to see some of the first. She got to see Jack hold them the first time. 
and she said, poor kid, that's what she called her older brother. She said, poor kid, he was scared to death he was gonna hurt Jackson. Like, he didn't wanna move him, touch him, burp him. He couldn't even barely tap. The, the baby nurse come and kinda showed him how, and Morgan assured Jake, and I did too, that y'all, this is very normal. There's no stupid question. Ask whatever you need to know, how to change a diaper, anything. You know, y'all are new parents. It's what they're here for. So ask anything you need. So, um, you know, um, I don't know. I, it's just like when the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I want to look at his pictures because I can't quite remember what he looks like yet because he's so new to me. So I'll just look at those pictures and he's the last thing on my mind before I go to sleep because this is a new experience in my life and my brain has not created a file for it yet so it's just floating around it's in the front of my mind at all times but um, it's amazing how in a, a heartbeat in a moment your heart can double in size and grow so much and that you can love another child that is not yours as much as your child but in a different way you know, it's like your heart is just in compartments and there's one child and another and another for me. And then you've got compartments for your animals and your friends, your family. So I just had, my heart had to grow to make even more room for this special boy in my life, Jackson. Um, so he's here and I don't know if I'll get permission to share a little photo of him or not in this video, but I can just tell you, I'm still exploring them myself. Like I said, I haven't got to see his feet or hands. And um, he's just beautiful. He's just beautiful. I haven't got to really smell him. Nobody getting close to his face because there's RSV and things going around with little children and babies. And he's, well, he's 24 hours old this morning at five. But he's, he's not eating a lot. She's trying to breastfeed and bottles. Um, but he's, you know, okay. Um, but yeah, that's the story. Thank y'all for sharing it with me. It, I'm sure I'll have more to talk about with him. But I think they get to come home tomorrow on Friday. And they're going to make up my time that I kind of haven't got to hold them yet. I'll probably the last immediate family to not hold them. But I'm going to make up for it when he comes home. Because the young one, Jake only lives about not even five minutes from me and I'll get to hold them and have some time and take them in. So thank you for listening, and um, I love y'all, and uh, please give the video the thumbs up for Jackson.